Aquarius and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to do some of these uploads, but when duty calls, duty calls. So, I am going to talk to you guys about the rest of March into April. These readings are timeless. If you have not already, please hit the subscribe button so that we can continue on this journey together, learning about um, some of the different things that you need to know. Uh, we are here to do some healing. Uh, we sometimes have questions. I'm hearing you have questions, Aquarius. Let's see, we're just going to jump right in, okay? And again, subscribe button, like, share, help us grow um, so that we can help out more people, okay? We have a mission <laughs> to accomplish. I know, I'm such a military person, right? Aquarius, let's take a look and see what we have for you. I normally don't shuffle on camera like this. I've already pre-shuffled and prayed, um, but I'm hearing that you guys needed that. There's some extra questions that might be looming for you. All right? So Aquarius, talk to me about love, please. These readings are timeless, so whenever you find it, that's when it is meant for you. Aquarius and love, 2020. Mid... March. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. There's a new opportunity with a Libra. I'm hearing Libra, but it could be um, just an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius. New passionate beginning that you're thinking about, Aquarius. Okay, yes, definitely a new passionate beginning because we have the Fool card at the bottom of the deck. Um, in this particular Fool card, I find this to be pretty sexual energy. It's always about the puppy dog following <laughs> the young lady, okay? Like a puppy love or, you know, just uh, somebody who, I don't know. There's a truth coming out about maybe a sexual encounter. I'm going to say you do have questions about whether or not to start this new beginning with an air sign. This is also your headspace as well. So you may be using critical thinking right now and using your judgment um, and about new opportunities. Yeah, in love. Ace of Cups. I think you may be pretty smitten with somebody. I know smitten is such an old word, right? But... It is what it is. I am feeling like there are ancestors in the room. Yes, there are ancestors in the room. You have been praying and uh, your guide is here to let you know that this is a possibility of new love for some reason. Whatever this is, it's going to transform your life. This is not an ending. This is a rebirth. Okay, look at the new beginning in the background. I'm seeing the fire. Now, there may be some sort of tragedy or destruction that happens because of this, though. All right. So your headspace is transformation, new opportunities. Let's take a look at your other person. Okay, and see where their headspace is. Thank you. All right. Aquarius's other person in love. That's too many, but I do see Ten of Pentacles um, or coins in this deck. So that may be someone who is pretty stable, grounded. Yeah, I'm hearing love. Just lots of love. Page of Wands. Communication. Moon at the bottom of the deck, so maybe they're waiting. That could be deception. Not feeling deception. I'm feeling cycles with that, though. Uh, Page of Wands, please. What else can you tell us about Aquarius's other person? Yeah, there is a tower moment coming, okay? Communicating that a tower moment is coming. Mm -hmm. There's a king of wands. This action that had to be taken. This tower moment is something that could, was, could not be avoided. Something that maybe they didn't avoid. Yeah, star energy at the bottom of the deck. Looking for healing. 
Okay. Um, I am picking up on, I mean, there's ego here. There's also victory. Let's see which one this is going to be. I don't know why, but I'm picking up, I don't see the cards for it, but you're wondering about a sexual encounter and whether or not it was like contagious or, um, something about being susceptible to picking up what someone else has, you know, and that could be because of this energy that we're in with, um, you know, what's going on in the world. Let's take a look. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, five of cups, justice, and the devil. Okay, so past regrets would definitely be someone who, I'm going to switch these two. Thank you. All right. So basically, guys, this is what's going on. It's airy season. All right. We are at the beginning of the Zodiac. Eight of Cups, bottom of the deck. Somebody is walking away from a situation. This Five of Cups would be someone who potentially contracted some sort of STD while they were having sex with somebody. Um, it's something that was pretty much unavoidable in your other person's eyes. They consider themselves to be healed. Okay. Um, there is definitely an issue here, Aquarius, because five of cups, the devil and justice means that what was done in the dark will come to the light. Right now, Saturn is getting ready to move into Aquarius, and that is you will reap what you have sown. So this STD, um, yeah, there, there is definitely this Capricorn energy as well. There's a Libra here. There's an Aquarius. And this is all happening right now. Whenever you hear this message, it's happening right now now you want justice for what for this sexual encounter though you know it was like a, a passionate moment and you felt that it was okay but what you're learning is that it was not okay because again you were given an std i think you may have seen a piece of paper you saw something solid that made you realize that this person could have possibly been infected with something Mm -hmm. And the truth coming out has made you extremely angry. But you need to watch your anger, Aquarius. You need to watch your anger. I mean, t technically, you chose to lay down. Okay? This, this new pa passionate beginning that you chose to start or that you were thinking about, it, everything that glitters is not gold. I will just say that, okay? You didn't see the divine... Is actually stepping in at this time and bringing you justice though so I'm hearing maybe at some point you're going to be going on and, and checking okay yeah I think you're going to go check the doctor I don't know why I'm feeling this and you know don't take this as as medical advice guys this is just what I see in the cards it's, it's what I'm hearing ancestors are stepping through because they want you to take care of yourself you know, um, they want you to walk away from things that have happened in the past and they want you to start new cycles. We have Ace of Coins here. These things are definitely we are going through some cycles. Um, wow. This is a very, very powerful message for someone. Many people, I think this is a definitely a general collective message. Please be careful who you sleep with. It is literally a tower moment waiting to happen. Okay. With the devil card being here, followed up by the star card, which is 17 and 8 and 6, 5. There's just major change that's coming. And there's nothing that you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's 15, 16, 17. 
the anger that's going to come will have to heal. Okay, the toxicity that happened in this past union or in sexual encounter, it's going to have to heal. It's going to be up to you. And again, we have the star and justice here at the same time. So again, whatever happened, the divine is, he has your back. She has your back. Your ancestors have your back. They are trying to show you the truth. That's why you are in this state of mind. That's why you're asking questions. That's why you've become um, the individual that you have. And I'm hearing for like the past three months or so. Okay, or this could be three months moving out. See, look, there's in this card, there's um, like you could be in the second month right now. But then as you move into the third month, you will see this. I'm hearing this is a warning message for a lot of you. Do by the third month, you know, one month, two months, three months. Yeah, three months. You've been looking for this person for a long time, though. Look, and apples are about love. Apples are definitely in regards to love and prosperity and new growth everything that we see here and that is what this per this person was promising you but they had to reveal a truth and the truth it was actually deceptive but you in the end will come out balanced and justice will prevail okay so if you feel that you can heal this love um you can try I know that the divine is here for you, all right? There have been some deep regrets, some deep, deep regrets in the past with this particular person. You know, they've had relationships. I'm hearing too many relationships. You know, this may be you, this may be your cross watcher. Please take this how it resonates. This tower moment is going to be extremely powerful, though. It was a blessing in disguise that whatever happened, happened. Whatever communication came in for you, Aquarius, or your other person, it's going to put the karmic justice into place the way that it needs to put it into place. All right? But definitely, somebody has a partner here that has had many many lovers okay and at this time we can see there's no lid on those cups you know there's a couple of leaves covering a few of them so I'm gonna say here and there condoms were used here and there but not all the time not all the time a new cycle is beginning though um, so basically, you know, what else I'm going to look at is what you're not saying, what they're not saying, what you are not seeing, what they are not seeing. And we're going to push into an extended. Um, I think this is a very serious read, and I hope that you join me over on Vimeo. Peace and elbow grease.